Welcome to Princess Lillian's Garden. In this video, I say beware of butterflies because I've discovered the reason why they left my vegetables alone for years. I enjoy having caught flowers to take photographs and arrange. This is a hobby that I was not able to enjoy when the roses became too tall, I had to change them and put them in another side of my garden and put some new rose plants in their place. This is comfrey and the yellow one is a wallflower. But there's a rose plant just to the left. It's just, uh, it's just leaves now and soon after the comfrey had finished flowering the roses came into flower and this was at the appropriate height for me those are bees on the comfrey the comfrey is a very good bee puller now the roses were at the appropriate height for me and i was able to actually cut them and Take photographs of them if I chose to do whatever without having to stretch over to such a very tall uh, rose plant. I also have irises and they are all at the height that is very convenient for me to either photograph or to cut. After I had removed the roses and placed them on the other side of the garden be behind me here I noticed the butterflies started to fly in another direction they didn't appreciate the very short rose flowers as much as to lay their eggs on it they may go around it land on it suck the nectar but when they wanted to lay their eggs they'll go over to my vegetable patch and that's when trouble started you can see all my kale it's got holes now because all these butterflies many types of them just come over this is the cabbage white and i see a lot of them as i used to do in the past year this is the Red Admiral. This one likes to lay its own eggs among the strawberry plants and other short plants. That's the larva of the Red Admiral, the caterpillar. You can see that the coloring is actually very much like that of the Admiral. These ones would eat your tomatoes. They are the brimstone. They are actually mating. They would eat your tomatoes, but that won't be too much of a problem because they only eat the leaves. And these are moths on the roses. They come along as well. Butterflies, moths, they all like to eat and play on the plants. This is another moth called the mint moth. It likes the tomatoes. It likes the kill and what i noticed was there was a lot of holes on my kale leaves and when i would now turn the leaf because i know they will stay in the shaded part i started finding tiny lava of these butterflies under the kale leaves that they had been biting and that's where they would stay and after a while they will start to pupate and then they would go on to become adults. The reason why they left my vegetables alone all those years is because for them being on this vegetable is a higher risk because when they first change from lava to adult butterfly, they cannot fly so they are at risk. So they would rather be at a height or 
at a point where sunlight can get to them better. They want heat and they want to get their wings dry. That's the reason why they would prefer tall roses, dahlias, zinnias to lay their eggs on. This is Polygonia. It's a master of camouflage. See? It's trying to pretend to be that twig. Anyway, I've got myself some net for my vegetables. And would you like to see more of my videos? Why not take a moment to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment for everyone to see. Also, subscribe if you're new here. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye.